يا مرحبا يا مرحبا وسهلا يا شباب Hello guys and girls Welcome to part 3 And in the last part uh, I think you remember we just uh, Started um, The new project I mean we just um, I was showing you that with PNPM we Start um, PNPM dev we start uh, The web server And the dev server Better said and how you can just test app your view application now in this tutorial uh, just let me just close this um, in this tutorial we will um, um, do some um, adaptations we'll install some dependencies and for this either you take my dependencies in the um, here on on medium.com this is as you can see Part two, you scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And uh, take these dependencies from here, or you take it directly from GitHub. Here in part three, you will see the dependencies we are using for this project. And just make sure, I just, for a, for a couple of reasons, I did not use the latest versions for some of the dependencies because there were some, I had some issues because some dependencies were too new and some did not work work with other um, with other parts of the library and so make sure you use the same versions like I do to avoid some mistakes so so when you have done this what we are going to do is okay now we have the dependencies in here or the dev dependencies and uh, for the, for the here the project dependencies and as you can see, I've also added um, another, two more, uh, two more um, uh, shortcut commands for test unit and test, test coverage to see the coverage report. So when you have done this, you just go to the terminal and you just say p and pm install. This will now install all of our necessary dependencies. Okay, this will take now a few minutes. Uh, okay, now we can just open the next one, the vid config uh, MTS file. Uh, there are also some things we have to adapt, otherwise the, I mean, as you can see now, the app will not run properly. Just do now p npm dev. Yeah, as you can see, this is the reason why we have to now ad adjust some other files because, as you can see, there are some issues in here. Uh, I mean, for now, we just take my existing code and okay, nice, good to know. I will just cheat right now. I mean, I I went through everything and just adapt everything, but I think. If you want, you can do and look what are the exact problems. But for now, I would just suggest to um, just copy paste the stuff I'm showing you. Read config MTS. Yes, looks good. Let's copy this. And here in part three, we'll find all the things you can. We'll do so. Okay. Ah, oh, wait, wait a second. Maybe this is a bit too much that I'm copying because we'll have to adapt later some things so just just please bear with me and uh, that, 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 that part three is good let's take part three just remove this again and paste it okay this looks much better because the other stuff I will show you what we are going to do okay so read config as you can see right now here, let me just minimize this. Um, this is the first version. This is now the updated version. Um, yeah, we just removed some imports. Here we did some other things, uh, just aligning stuff and so on and so forth. Here we just um, 
using some stuff a little bit differently, like few and beautify, few fonts and so on and so forth to avoid some mistakes and port, yeah. Uh, just mostly alignment stuff and I don't know why the few router and the layouts is used like this, like so, I don't know. Okay, just close it. I mean, I just always make sure that I properly align all the lines. Okay, next thing we have to go and adapt the uh, index TS file. Uh, wait, wait a second. We have to adapt this index.ts file. Yes, this is the one we have to use because. Now, when I try to run again, there will still be some errors. And as you can see, we have in index HTML uh, an error. And yes, but we have also here in index.ts an error. We will fix them these now. Um, just let me just. I also see now I have a typo in my tutorial, medium.com tutorial. Just have to had to fix it. Okay. Uh, da, 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 router. You can remove all of this because we will again copy it from the medium tutorial. So where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Router. Okay, copy it and paste it. Uh, this looks good for now. This is basically how a router works. We just create the router. We also need the web history just you know to navigate back and so forth. This is the default home path slash. We can also name it otherwise. Um, yeah. I mean this is the path. This is the name as is, as you can see is home right now and we are here now creating a router instance with the web history and uh, this looks good uh, okay so our index html file is not actually the error we have another error uh, we have to adapt the uh, index.view file. Let me just check where is it in pages. Yes. Just wait a second. I have also here an um, error. Oh, da, 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 da. Okay. That is here. We here something is not properly done. Uh, hello world. Okay. Yeah, because I think it's not properly. Yeah, it's it's not imported. Yeah, this is the reason. It's not imported. Okay, looks good, looks good. Now oh, let's try it again. Clear everything and start again the server. Okay, this looks much better right now. As we can see, the project started. Go here to Google Chrome because I like to develop things on, on the Google Chrome browser. Okay, as you can see, this works. And inspect. Currently, no stuff, no errors, no warnings. That's good. And 
guess here's some warnings or so, but mm, we don't care right now. Okay. Okay, I hope I'm not too, um, I'm not, I'm, I hope I'm loud enough so you can hear me good because I have a new headset. And if I am not loud enough, please tell me in the comment section below. But before I, before we finish this part, so let's go to source. We are already in, let's go to source. We are already here. We have, we can go to plugins and we can go to Fudify JS file. Here you can see we have some imports and other stuff. And uh, we can here set up the theme. And we can do like this theme. Normally it should, I don't know why, I hope that I, my, my hope was that it's um, auto-completes more. I'm just a little bit lost of words. Now let's do themes. Okay, set up a, a variety of themes. Now we use light. Yeah, 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 here you can see we can use a light theme and a dark theme, but for this tutorial we just go with a dark, light theme. If you want you can then set up the dark theme. Um, I leave this up to you. We can set a primary color because I like green, we will use some greenish color. One, four, five, transfer one. Ah, I have to do single quotes. And here we we'll just say dark green. And this one will be, you have to put, of course, colon, and this will be secondary. And this will be 5C, F, 6, 8, 0. And this will be, of course, light green. Okay, align it. I think the app is, yes, uh, hot. Hot module reloading is still on, so page got reloaded, and as you can see now, this the color changed. It was, it was before blue. Okay, that's good. And as I said, here you have the, the light theme. If you want to add a dark theme, you just go here and say dark, and your stuff in here and so on and so forth. But for this tutorial, as I said, we will not adapt a dark theme. Uh, I leave this. I leave this up to you. And this is it for part three. Um, yeah. Um, I'm sorry if if it's got a little bit confusing because of the setup things. But yeah, unfortunately, out of the box, some things did not work with Beautify. And so we had to adapt some things, but I promise you in the next tutorial will be more hands-on coding and not so much about setting up stuff. So I hope you bear with me. I hope you liked the tutorial. Please give it a like, subscribe, and write some comments if you like if, if you found this useful. Catch me in the next one. Ilalikaya Shabab.